Hello and welcome to my 10 minute stretch. I thought I'd take this opportunity to put together a really efficient stretching routine for you guys. So I hope you enjoy it. We're going to be starting off in this plank position and putting our right foot beside our right hand and pressing our hip out. There's going to be lots of opportunity to stretch our psoas in this. And if you can, you can bend your left leg Take it with your right hand to stretch that left core. If this is too difficult, don't be afraid to just stay in that starting position. And swapping over, pressing out that left hip. We'll be taking our right leg with our left hand, stretching out that quad. This is a great stretch for stretching out the upper part of your quad. something that we don't often get to do. Okay, and moving up into the downward dog position, I want you to try and plant your heels firmly on the floor. Pressing your head through your shoulders. Walking up into forward fold. You should feel that stretch transfer from your calves to your hamstrings. And walking again into that downward dog. Feeling that stretch change back to your calves. If you can't quite keep your heels planted, walk them back and forth. And back into that forward fold. and slowly roll yourself back up. Now we're going to take a big forward lunge and stretch out one of our shoulders. So again, a lot of the stretching that we're going to be doing uh, is quite intensive on the psoas. Uh, this is because often it's quite short on people that spend a lot of time sitting. So it's good to do as much stretching on that as possible. And we'll swap legs. that other shoulder and changing to triceps. Make sure you keep that back foot flat on the floor and really push yourself into that hip stretch as well. Perfect and moving into the cobra position Really point your chin towards the sky and take big deep breaths and you'll feel a deep stretch through your core. And we'll move back into the child's pose position. Again, try to push your head through your shoulders, plant your hands firmly on the mat, feel that stretch in your shoulders and your lats and back up into the cobra. and back into child's pose. And we'll just go into this chest stretch now. So for this one, if you're not quite feeling a stretch through your chest, you need to play about with the angle a little bit. These first two, you can push yourself quite far over. And the second two are gonna be with bent arms. So same position, but with our arm bent at 90 degrees. You're gonna push yourself over. Feel a deep stretch through your chest. And swap sides.
back up into downward dog. Again, walking your feet back and forth if you can't quite plant your heels firmly on the floor. You want to be in a triangle shape for this stretch. And we'll take another lunge forward. Reach our arm underneath our hand. And we're just gonna do a nice twist. I want you to really open up as you twist around. It's great for your thoracic spine. Nice twist. And all the way back. Reach for the sky. Really push yourself right. lunge forward, we're going to plant our elbows onto the mat, if you can't quite make it that low that's okay, you can perhaps try and plant one elbow, it just gets us really nice and deep, it allows us to rest and focus on pushing that stretch. So it's important never to force a stretch past where you feel comfortable, but at the same time want to ensure that you're putting in the effort to actually make those, those flexibility gains. Just like lifting weights or exercising, flexibility has to be a focused effort. Again, try and maintain those big breaths. And now we're moving through into a glute stretch. It's called the pretzel. So what I want you to do is try and turn away as far as you can from that front foot. Try and face behind you. And use your arm to push that glute. And give it a nice deep stretch. swapping sides. Again, try and twist all the way around. Push, really feeling a stretch on that glute. stretch. So you can hold your leg as far up or down as you feel comfortable. If you need to hold it at the knee, that's totally fine. If you can hold it at your ankle, even better. At your foot, it's perfect. Swap sides. This is a great stretch, especially if you're always stretching your hamstrings together. So it allows you to know which one is the less flexible hamstring. There's usually going to be one side that's a little bit worse. And now we're going to be doing this forward fold. Again, big breaths. Push yourself through this stretch. onto our front into this downward dog position. Stretch yourself forward, plant those heels. This is the last one, so really try to plant them. Move back up into this forward fold position. This is my favorite stretch, feeling that transfer between your hamstrings and your calves. Back into that downward dog. And then we'll be moving back into a final forward fold. And that'll be us. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video today. 
please like the video and share it on social media with anyone you feel might enjoy it. And let me know what you think in the comments below. See you next time.